So today I've been asked, what is the difference in time limits for property settlement, whether I'm in a same-sex relationship or a heterosexual relationship or a de facto relationship? Well, the, whether it's a same-sex relationship or not, um, Australia has thankfully progressed into the, into the uh, future and it doesn't matter whether you're same-sex or heterosexual, the time limit is still the same. The difference is, is between whether you are married or de facto. That is where it actually changes. So for marriage, you have one year from your date of divorce being finalised to do your property settlement or commence proceedings in court. You don't actually have to get your divorce straight away, but you have to be separated for a minimum of one year and a day before you can apply for that. However, in relation to de facto, it's different. You need to actually have commenced court proceedings or finalised your property settlement within two years from the date that you have separated. So if you've separated, I recommend that you write it down in a diary with big asterisks and circles and highlighters because that is really important. If you miss that time limit, you need special permission of the court to be able to commence proceedings. And I promise you that is not always granted and it actually adds on a lot more expense. So I hope that's helped give you some guidance. If you need any extra resources or information, just reach out and we'll send you plenty.